Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Taurus. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign. If the reading resonates, then um, that's awesome, or even if parts of it do. If the reading doesn't resonate, then it's simply not your message, okay? So um, I have posted general readings uh, for all 12 zodiac signs for August already. Um, and I will be pony, uh, posting uh, bonus readings for, um, for general and for love, for the top three signs, for the most interaction uh, to do with the channel, etc. Uh, later on this month. Okay, so even though these readings are listed for August, they are timeless readings. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut up the deck. So we have the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. So what can we get for Taurus, please? Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign for August 2021, please. What can we get for Taurus, please? Ooh, that looked like it wanted to come out. There we go. Okay, interesting. So we pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. We have chemistry. What we don't see, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. What else can we get for Taurus? We've got make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. What else can we get for Taurus, please? Thank you. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And one more, please. One more for Taurus. For August, please. Do you have one more? Yes, you do. I thought you did. Um, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Bottom of the deck, we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, okay? And then give your give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, what we don't see, okay? So, um, what I'm getting here for you guys, um, Taurus, is that there is a divine love, a very important soul connection, connection like a high-level soulmate, uh, potentially a twin flame energy here, um, Somebody wants to come forward and make the effort. You may be getting signs and synchronicities about this particular individual coming forward towards you. Now this pay attention to the red flags doesn't necessarily mean have to be anything like danger or anything to particularly worry about. It's just a, 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 a card to kind of let you know that you know you are getting indications or they potentially they could be getting indications that they need to make the effort to come forward towards you because it'll be worth the effort that they come forward towards you and um it's very very soon so clearly decide what it what, what it is that you want um so that it could come to you now what we don't see to be able to bring all of this in this beautiful energy in is to stay as optimistic as you can about your love life have faith that things are working out keep on healing yourself i'm getting keep on working on yourself loving yourself first this in turn is like keeping an open mind so like you're if you're dealing with a divine counterpart high level soulmate uh, twin flame energy then they may not be your usual type or expectation potentially you may not have even met this person um, i'm getting that strongly so you you may not even be sure what they look like like you can feel their energy you can feel you know um you know what like their feelings and that kind of situation um but potentially you may not even know what this person looks like so you may not have even met them that's why we could have very soon that you could be going into a reunion with this particular individual um i'm also getting like that if you have met them or you you do know who exactly who this person is they are very different from your usual type or expectation they could be from a different religious background um, a different cultural expectation they could live somewhere else um, in a different country you know that type of thing um, or have very different views from you etc but there's a lot of chemistry here a lot of magnetic chemistry in relation to your connection like you can't just um, it can't be ignored I'm getting it can't be 
um, avoided okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull from the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards to see what extra information what extra messages we can get for you guys for, for August for Taurus please either you or someone that you're dealing with really wants to make the effort though and I'm really getting the sense you're, that you're guided or they're guided to come forward and make the effort and for you both to be positive and just have no, just know and have faith and have trust that these particular feelings that you are feeling are real, um, that they are real and that they can be, they can be trusted on and just to keep on kind of healing yourself, loving yourself. Um, I'm just seeing that separation, um, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning or unsure of the future so that you could have been very unsure about things happening. But I'm getting the sense that if you've been in separation from this person, you will be having a re reunion relatively soon, I'm getting. Um, but you're definitely thinking of each other. Even if you have never even met before, you're thinking of each other. That's that's what I'm getting strongly as well. Um, you will eventually talk. I broke up the deck and we have talking. So there's going to be some sort of text message, um, a conversation coming forward or coming into play relatively soon. Um, but I'm getting the sense that someone has to kind of do a bit more, a bit more healing first, like changing particular thought patterns and um, understanding that, you know, being in union with themselves first before being expecting to go into union with someone else. But um, the separation will be over um, at some point. It just all kind of happens in divine timing. Um, so it's about trying to stay as patient as possible. I know that can be so difficult having to hear that when, especially if it's been a long time or um, that you've been in separation from someone. Okay, so um, what can we get for Taurus, please, for August? Please, what's Taurus? I just wanted to take a massive sigh. Like, I feel like you're going to get this sigh of relief when you eventually get this particular communication or even um, this message. Yeah, love call. Oh my goodness, I can't make it up. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Like, you're going to have this um, come forward towards you or either um, you're going to express these particular feelings. Look at that. Oh my gosh, and what we don't see. Coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savouring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. So yeah, they may call you out the blue to say, look you fancy going off out for a cup of coffee and you're not going to expect this like so you can meet up with each other yeah because you've been in separation um potentially they've been staying in separation there could have been a third party situation or maybe there's been difficulties um in relation to your connection like if you are a divine counterpart or high level soulmate twin flame energy usually these types of relationships are relatively toxic because we kind of like in our lower um, our lower 3D cells rather than connecting to our 3D like 5D cells so the separation will eventually end um, but it's about getting out of certain like toxicity and behaviours etc um, before something can be like brought back together like getting to know each other and having this happiness and getting But then it's, it's like having this recognition, um, healing the heart. Um, it's having this particular recognition, recognition that things will eventually turn around and having that faith. So why, what else can we get here for Taurus, please? Yeah. Yeah. Worth waiting for. And then we have Dragonfly. So this landed on divine timing. Is at work in your love life? It is worth waiting for. You're having to... Um, adapt, change and heal yourself, be light-hearted, you're finding out information. Potentially your counterpart may be finding out that they have this very significant connection with you um, and they're transforming themselves. Look at this, with the Phoenix energy, they're changing, they've got, they're changing their mind, they're changing their beliefs, they're changing their kind of um, conditioning or mental conditioning I'm getting so that they can renew and have something with you. Yeah, they're working on it. They may have sabotaged the relationship previously, or you may, you know, it's, it takes two to tango, doesn't it? So there could have been some sort of, you know, um, sabotage, but 
you're both getting to the place when you both kind of learn to love yourself and stay positive, be open-minded and not have particular expectations and just know and understand this particular chemistry that you have is not going to go away. Like you won't both, both be able to get to a point where you can work on it and heart with a key. Look, you may not necessarily have shown your feelings towards each other, but the love is still there. And it's about working on yourself and opening up your heart to allow this beautiful energy to come in for you. So what else are we getting? Um, yeah, look at this. Hammer and ascending. Like you both having to work on ascending right now. Um, transcending obstacles. New phase. Preparing for union. You know, working on yourself. This is so stunning. Bottom of the deck, we have hand of cards. Taking a chance, a risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand and gambling. So... You're both having to take a chance. You take that leap of faith I'm getting to be able to get to the point where you're working on yourself to then ascend, to move on forward. Like taking a chance on love by taking a chance on yourself. Yeah, because there's this passion here. Look, the Cupid's arrow. I can't make it up, guys. Have faith. Love is coming. There is passion. There's insane chemistry here that you don't see you will have fun you will be able to go out with each other you will get to know each other go out and have fun have coffee go out for a date that type of thing you know it will all happen but you can only kind of sit and watch each other from afar now and you know potentially tap into tarot readings because that's kind of like dipping in and out of someone else's energy isn't it like trying to find out what's going on so there could be a lot of that going on right now potentially as well so but you are moving forward and it's all really beautiful. Um, like, look at that, I've just said moving on forward, broke up the deck and then we have moving on. You know, happily single, living in the moment, time with friends. Just, you know, take a chance on yourself, work on yourself, have a bit more fun in your life I'm getting. Um, and kind of just get to a point where you feel really content and happy with yourself without having to feel the need to be with this with this other person or have them in your energy like like around you immediately it's like having faith that things can turn around for you so i'm gonna shuffle with the radiant right away tarot deck um just to get some extra tarot cards see what we can get for this particular um situation obviously the the reading can i'm reading it for for taurus but obviously if you're a cross cross watcher for taurus then that's absolutely fine just please take um take the the roles as they are reverse it so this could either be for you or for the person that you're dealing with okay so do what do we have for taurus please for taurus for august 2021 what's happening with taurus Yeah, okay, so keep an open mind. Like, wishes are coming forward towards you here with the Nine of Cups. There is going to be some sort of um, emotional fulfillment, but I'm really getting the sense there's a, a block right now. Um, and it's like, it landed here with, like, in between the making the effort, keep an open mind, feeling positive about how things can happen. I'm really getting the sense that you will eventually have your reunion. Um, but with this Nine of Cups energy, it's like don't feel like you have to rush to get into this relationship you both both don't need to feel to have this particular rush because divine timing here with this worth waiting for card is like is playing into your both of your lives right now you know you won't you will both you're hoping for a bigger commitment and i'm really getting the sense that eventually you will get to a point where you will have that but potentially right now there could be um, some sort of blocks there's something maybe feeling like it's missing and because you may feel like something's missing or your person feels like something missing there could be um, that could be why there may be a delay in a wishes fulfilled in relation to your connection because you know needing to feel completely emotional emotionally fulfilled first and satisfied before actually coming into union with your person if this is particularly how it how it resonates so I'm going to put this kind of here sideways um bottom of the deck oh wow we have the six of cups so yeah there's definite reunion eventually happening potentially even a reconciliation if there has been this particular situation like um 
separation and like if things may not necessarily have worked out previously i'm getting like things will eventually work out yeah there is going to be movement forward here you know you could be dealing with a water sign um cancer scorpio pisces or a aries leo sag here but there's you're gonna you both eventually will ride forward feeling confident with a reunion and have the stability that you're both yearning for you know have an opportunity to eventually settle down but potentially um there could be some sort of blockages at the moment for it to come in as of yet if we're talking about particularly for august time well we're going to pull some more cards and see what else that we can get but just just feel like self-assured in yourself that you are going on the right path like you're on the right track and your person is yeah six of pentacles look at that that just come out so there's two sixes we've seen um so taurus virgo capricorn you could be dealing with bottom of the deck we have the five of pentacles or what we don't see so i'm getting the sense that you know there will be an opportunity to have an equal give and take relationship but i'm getting there may not necessarily have been that previously um with what we don't see with the five of pentacles so there's definitely a separation that's coming into play and potentially financial issues for either yourself or for your person and it's kind of like it's kind of like there there will be a balance but something may not necessarily be working out as of right now and that's why there could be some sort of delay okay yeah potentially they could be dealing with a karmic energy who's trying to take all their strength from them i'm getting um somebody in the mix who could have um manipulated them in a financial or a legal obligation but this is potentially something that you may not necessarily have known of yet you know they may have kept it to themselves like um or maybe either you feel like eventually if you do know of this person you've been in separation that you may have thought that they tried to play mind games with you and it made you feel weak or made you feel like you wanted to give up on the connection but you feel like you can't give up on the connection you know so you've had to retreat your energy if you're dealing with a divine counterpart but you have all this like passion and love for them and you want to move on forward but potentially there's something else there in the way that could be of a block but i'm gonna keep going what else have we got that looked like it wanted to come out okay so we have the six of swords and that's another six so we've seen three sixes so six 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 that could be very um significant for you i would definitely look that up but sixes are to do with balance and harmony in um in your life but also into the the like the material realm i'm getting yeah material realm look at that i've just said that and then we have the king of pentacles of what we don't see at the bottom of the deck so with this kind of six of swords energy, um, with it being in reverse, I'm getting the sense that there's definitely been a rough patch or like there's been a lot of a slowdown to do with this relationship. Like not much has actually happened. Like in the 3D and the physical, not much is happening. But no, look at that. Just know that even though that things may not look as they seem here with the magician, that in the 3d eventually everything's going to turn out all okay like there's going to be stability there's going to be loyalty in a relationship like you could be the divine feminine and you're waiting on your person to kind of step up um if the, you're dealing with a divine masculine etc just however it best resonates for you um we're doing energies here rather than you know male or female etc so um just take it how it resonates here uh, with this king of pentacles energy this is somebody who's um like solid as a rock like they'll have the same values as you and eventually you will get to the point where you will share that but potentially right now there's been a lot of scattered energy there could be a third party situation doesn't necessarily have to be but um you could be dealing with a gemini libra aquarius taurus virgo capricorn taurus a libra or gemini virgo scorpio energy um you know, obviously we have that here and have that in your chart so i'm going to take one more card for you one more tarot card to see what's going on for taurus please and then we'll close out the reading what else has you got for taurus that looked like it wanted to come out oh my goodness look at this 
The Two of Cups, how beautiful. This is like soulmate, divine counterpart, spiritual connection, past life connection. Like you definitely have this with this person. If this is re this reading, you know, resonates with you. Like, but we have here at the bottom of the deck, what we don't see is the Nine of Pentacles. So for this union, for this to come into play, for this to actually be manifested into something, into the physical realm, it's like saying for you to really kind of work on yourself like love yourself first heal yourself like stay optimistic work on your finances work on your independence you know don't feel like you have to rush into love you know or let someone into your life because you want them there to be there immediately like things will eventually happen in divine timing and it'll happen for you naturally so really work on just being independent and successful and like you'll be maturing and with this kind of maturing you're healing yourself look oh i can't make it up in divine timing here with the divine timing and the worth waiting for card you know it's it's it is coming in it will be coming in for you i know you're feeling not relatively you know confident and optimistic that things may not necessarily be working but they will you know stay optimistic about your love life like faith and and positive thinking will bring you romance but you may be in this negative depressed state right now that's why things are not happening and you need to have this kind of this sudden epiphany that focusing on yourself like having this enlightenment that if you celebrate your life and being grateful for your life celebrating what your friends and family and the people around you and who you have around you you'll eventually get to the point where you'll feel so proud and happy with yourself, which is then in turn is going to allow things to manifest and be brought in for you eventually, as we have here beautifully with the Wheel of Fortune, with the Divine Timing card. So it's like surrender that things will be working around for you and you'll have this amazing turning point in this particular connection and it will be really beautiful. Like, I just broke up the deck and we got the Queen of Wands. So, um... You just feel confident in working on yourself like feeling independent and just not feeling like you're having to focus solely on this connection or this other person but focusing on yourself um is going to allow you to be able to move on forward really beautifully and feel like you can eventually kind of take a chance on love when it's the right time but just focus on healing any old wounds that you may have had right now because this person that you were dealing with they're probably doing the same especially if that's the connection that you you kind of resonate with you'll both be able to transform together um because you, if you're if you're mirroring each other and i'm getting the sense there's definitely mirroring here we've had two sixes um three sixes i'm getting so you know on a material basis you you're you're probably mirroring in your thoughts you're mirroring and also emotionally you're probably mirroring but it's just like on a soul level um you're probably mirroring as well so it's all basically it might as well have four sixes here on the table so you know um just but just really work on your confidence and your person's probably working on their confidence and eventually you will get to the place where you want to be um so yeah well i i that's that's the end of the reading but I, I hope that you guys enjoyed it please like share and subscribe leave us a comment i greatly appreciate it and we'll catch you in the next one so please take care and bye for now thank you bye for now